So, I haven't been keeping up with Batwoman because things just keep getting in the way. I'm really pissed off with how they handled Hush. Like, that is the only thing I have a problem with. If you're not going to keep the characters the way they're supposed to be kept, why even use their name? Like, dude, if they ever get Batman in Season 2, I'm going to be very... Hmm. Because I love the way they used him in the pilot, but in, in Season 2, that shit happens. And, oh, Bruce Wayne is not the Dark Knight. He's just a real, a real estate guy realtor or whatever, then I'm going to be like, <laughs> or be like the Nightwing clip, clip from Young Justice season two, where he's just watching that, um, he's watching like the Reaches broadcast and then he snaps the battering in his hand, birdering, um, be like that, except I'd be snapping a controller and have a remote or my phone. I've been watching it on my phone lately, so I guess my phone, I'd be snapping that shit in half. Um, but yeah, the, uh, I don't like Hush at, at all. Uh, he seems to be used a bit better in this, in the, the last few episodes, but I stopped watching after, like, episode five. Just because things were getting in the way. Um, <clears throat> and now I don't even have cable, so I've been watching it on my phone on the CW app. Um, but yeah, like... <clears throat> So, during the Crisis crossover, Kara... So, okay, so I don't know what the deal is, though, because they referenced the Crisis crossover a few times in the episode, so this is not before that. Um, but, you know, you have Beth doing Beth shit, but then, um, or Alice, but then Beth just shows up at the end of the episode, and it looks exactly like the one from the, uh... Crisis crossover on Earth 99. But she's acting like weird. Um, she's not acting like Alice at all. And she has brown hair, not white, blonde, whatever. Uh, yeah, blonde's actually more of a yellow color, so not white. Um, and her skin isn't pale, uh, like the Joker or something like that. Okay, there's something in my eye, and it's... Now there's more of something in my eye. I cannot see through this eye right now. Or I think I got whatever it was out. <clears throat> ah. You know, one time I had a gross-ass bug in my eyeball. A spider. It was freaking huge. <laughs> or at least it seemed that way. You know, it was on my eye. So, anyway, um... What, what the f <laughs> The hell was I going on about? So, Alice... Um... It, it, so, you know, this was just weird. I don't know what happened. But, you know, the Earth's merged or... Oliver made a new Earth or something like that. Um, and a new multiverse, apparently. So, with all of the previous versions of everything folding into one thing, does that mean that maybe Alice and Beth were so... Or the Earth 1 Alice and the Earth 99 Beth were so different that they just could not fuse, they rejected each other or something like that? Because I don't understand what's going on here. Um, interestingly, Catco and Kara Danvers uh, were referenced in this episode. Now, yeah, we watched the crossover, everything's all on one Earth now. But that's still weird that they would be referenced like that. They're really leaning into this one Earth thing, which I really like. Um, I mean, yeah, the multiverse still exists. I'm not saying that they're ignoring that or anything. Though Cisco is weird because he's saying that the multiverse doesn't exist. I mean, there's a new one. But, I mean, there's still a multiverse, so what the hell are you talking about? But, yeah, um, they're really leaning into this Earth Prime thing, and I love that. 
that means maybe in the next episode of Batwoman, they'll have Star Labs or something like that pop up. Maybe in the next episode of Supergirl, they'll have Wayne Industries being referenced. Uh, the Flash could have another Catco reference, I guess. The last episode of Arrow could have references to Catco, Wayne, Ind- Wayne Industries. Um, references to Batwoman, Supergirl, Black Lightning. So, yeah, I really love this. It, it, I'm, I'm not doing it justice, but you know. But yeah, this has nothing to do with my crisis video that I have planned, but, you know, it kind of does. Though this video will not be labeled as such. So, uh, this is just some interesting, you know. uh, Now, I haven't watched any episodes aside from this post-crisis one uh, ever since episode 5, 4 or 5 of Batwoman. So, I don't really know how the Hush character's been used. But from context of this post-crisis episode, um, she mentions, uh, or I'm bad with names for this, for these characters for some reason, but Kate's adopted sister mentions that someone with a, a skin mask or whatever was, uh, disguised as her dad and that she murdered the wife and stuff. So, it's possible that the character is being used a lot better, or it's completely possible that it's being used even worse. I don't know. But I'm just saying, it seems to me like the usage of the character got better. Because no, when I was pissed with that reveal, because he's a brain surgeon, but I was when I saw that review, I was, or reveal, I was so pissed, it's like, because now he's a realtor, and he's got this god, uh... He's got this thing where he's just like, make Gotham safe again. When I told my mom that, she actually burst out laughing and said, are you for real? Um, and I was like, yeah. Um, that pissed me off. I'm not even talking about politics or whatever, but that's not hush in the slightest. That's what pisses me off. People, or I see these people like, oh, you just didn't like it because you don't like how they're handling the politics of the world. It's like, no, it's because that's not the character I fell in love with. Well, that makes me seem kind of gay, and then I want to jump in the comic book and spoon that guy. But no, um, it's not the character I like. There's someone masquerading as that character. If you're not going to have the character the way he's supposed to be, why even use him? And that is the reason I wanted to make this video. Not because of the Beth thing, even though the Beth thing is the reason I actually turned on the camera. The reason I'm making the video is because I would just want to talk about how some of this is, you know? But yeah, I'm confused by the whole Beth thing. Because Kate even tried to take her face off. <laughs> like, who are you? Um. Yeah, they're... I wonder if, like, Oliver, when making the new universe, he tried to get rid of Alice and bring in Beth... Because Oliver just, you know, he's that kind of guy. If he knew about something, then he'd want to have that back in the universe. Oh, I have a theory, by the way. Uh, When making the new Earth, uh, Oliver used the power of the Anti-Monitor, but that created evil in this new universe. And um, when the Paragons were around... Uh, they were used to bring, uh, their ideals into the new universe. So, Superman, uh, was, you know, he was truth. But now, Lex Luthor stands in as truth. And so now that's why he's getting all these awards and stuff. Because he effed the universe in the A. Um giving himself, giving everyone else what they want, but also giving him the power to take it away from them. Probably. So I think that that's what they were there for, is they imprinted onto the universe. Their wants, their, you know, everything. So, Kate wants Alec or Beth 
and now she has Alice and Beth, which is still weird. Also, during the Birds of Prey thing, why wasn't, um, whoever, you know, um, whoever plays Alice was also in the Birds of Prey show as Dinah Lance is what she went by, I think? She was supposed to be the Black Canary, but then it turns out that the Black Canary was actually that someone else, her mother. Um, I actually do like that show, so I've been keeping up with it a lot more than anything else. Um, outside of the Arrowverse shows. But, like, if there was, like, Titans and stuff, I have not been keeping up with it as, as well. But I did finish the show anyways, so... Um... But yeah, I really do like that show, so I've been keeping up with it a lot. I know a lot of the behind-the-scenes stuff that went on, too. Um, but, like, behind-the-scenes stuff with Titans, I have not been that interested in. The only thing that interested me was the Batman hacking scene, because they were supposed to have, when Bruce was hacking the Cadmus stuff, um, he was supposed to put on a bat symbol onto their screens, but instead he put on a smiley face. I was like, that's weird. But then the next, a few days later, I heard, well, yeah, WB didn't want them using the bat symbol. And I was like, get the f*** out. <laughs> you know? Because I, I was just like, stop doing that. Stop micromanaging. Um, it'd just be great if the TV shows could do whatever they wanted. Because then they'd be better. And the movies could also do whatever they wanted. Because apparently, WB's in there, like, micromanaging. It's not even micromanaging. It's like, we'll get you... Because you have a reputation. But uh, we'll really be the ones directing and stuff. You'll just be, kind of be sitting there and we'll tell you what to do. That kind of thing. It's like, ah, stop that. Uh, but yeah, then... So, with... You know, she was in Birds of Prey. Why was she not present for that Birds of Prey, Prey cameo? It's like, she's right there. Just get over there. <laughs> yeah. I thought that, because, like, she didn't even appear in the Batwoman episode. Luke did, and I guess she had a cameo because she was in that photo, but... And that version seems to be the one that's here on Batwoman, so... But, um, I was like, man, get the hell out of here. So, yeah, uh... A situation happened. Um, I'm confused. And I forgot what the point of this was, aside from the hush thing. So that's unfortunate. But I was doing something on my computer, so I'm gonna get back to doing that later. I'm, you know, I, 